Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain the bilirubin pathway. The bilirubin pathway is really important because excess bilirubin in the blood is the source of jaundice, which is a yellowing of the skin. Many diseases can cause jaundice, and understanding the bilirubin pathway helps us to diagnose these diseases. So, bilirubin is a product of heme catabolism. That is, the breakdown of heme found in red blood cells. So our pathway begins with a red blood cell. And when this red blood cell gets old and weary, then a macrophage eats the red blood cell, and this initiates heme catabolism. Now hemoglobin found in the red blood cell is made up of four subunits and each of these subunits consists of a protein element called globin and a porphyrin ion complex called heme. This ion is the molecule which carries oxygen through the blood. The globin and the heme dissociate. So this is the globin part and the protein gets broken down and recycled. And this is the heme part. This is also spelt H-E-M-E -E in North America. The iron dissociates from the heme and it gets reused for making new red blood cells. And so we're left with this organic ring, which is known as a porphyrin. The structure of the porphyrin ring is quite complex and beyond the scope of this tutorial but it's basically a carbon ring with nitrogen elements which coordinate with the iron. Now, through a couple of steps which I haven't shown here, this porphyrin ring is opened up and this molecule is bilirubin. It is a bright yellow molecule, hence why excess causes yellow skin pigmentation in jaundice. It's also a toxic molecule, which is why it is so important to remove it from the body. Now, bilirubin is not a very water-soluble molecule, so it gets attached to this protein albumin, which carries it through the blood. The albumin carries bilirubin to the liver. Once inside the liver, an enzyme called UDP glucuronyl transferase attaches glucuronic acid to the bilirubin. In this way, it makes bilirubin less toxic and more water soluble. We call these molecules conjugated bilirubin as opposed to the unconjugated bilirubin prior to the attachment of the glucuronic acid. We'll discuss this process in more detail in the next video. The conjugated bilirubin then gets excreted in the bile into the intestines. It then gets acted upon by the bacteria in the intestines to produce stercobilinogen. This is a precursor to stercobilin. This occurs by oxidation, and stercobilin is the molecule that gives faeces its characteristic brown colour. However, not all stercobilinogen gets excreted. A closely related form, called urobilinogen, gets absorbed back into the blood, which in turn is filtered by the kidneys. Urobilinogen can be converted to urobilin via oxidation, and these get excreted in the urine. The urobilin is the molecule which gives urine its yellow colour. In the next video, we'll be looking at the metabolism of bilirubin in the liver and the diseases associated with dysfunction of this process. For more free tutorials, and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.
handwrittentutorials.com.